Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be unboxing the Ipsy Plus for October 2020. Now you might be wondering, I thought I already saw you unbox that, and I did unbox the PR version that they sent to me for review, but this is my paid for box, the one that is specifically customized to me. So if you're unfamiliar with Ipsy Plus, this is the $25 version of the Ipsy Glam Bag where you get five full-size products for $25 a month. You do get to select three of the items inside. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in signing up. Um, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I do lots of different subscription box unboxing videos here. So if you're a sub box lover like me or just want to get to learn more about subscription boxes or beauty, go ahead and subscribe and let's get into it. Now, I'm also gonna not be doing my Ipsy Plus versus BoxyCharm anymore, but I'm gonna be doing a BoxyCharm sister versus sister. So that'll be super exciting. I don't, that might already be up yet or it may be coming later depending on when I decide to post this video. If you really enjoy that, then maybe I'll do a sister versus sister Ipsy Plus in the future, but I wanted to test out the BoxyCharm version first, and there will still be the regular Ipsy Glam Bag Sister versus Sister as well. So this is what the bag looks like this month. If you saw my other video, then you've already seen this, but it has this cool like gold imprint. It says your magic on the back, and I absolutely love the design for October. So the theme this month is your magic. Now this doesn't have the products listed inside. I think they haven't been doing that for the Ipsy Plus because there's so many variations now, um, but yeah, I just, I don't really care for a pamphlet if there is nothing inside that tells you about the products. So there's two products that they pick for you and three products that you select. I did take screenshots of what my selections were. So as I unbox those items, I'll put up on the screen what I could have chosen. I don't remember them right now as I'm filming it and there were lots of choices. So I'm not gonna talk through it, but I will put it on the screen so at least you can see it. But we're gonna go ahead and start with the products that Ipsy chose for me. The first one is from Lovecraft Beauty, and this is an eyeshadow palette, and this is their Basic Rituals eyeshadow palette. Um, and this retails for $35. Um, it's a cool looking palette. I feel like this packaging is cool for um, Halloween, so it still has that holographic moth I'm thinking on it. And there are six shades inside there, kind of cool toned, which is awesome. I know you guys have been asking to see some cool toned looks on me, which I, to be honest, I think they suit me better sometimes, but I feel like I can pull off both warm and cool toned. So let me go ahead and swatch a few of these. All right, so I swatched everything except for the white shade, just because the white shade probably won't show up very well. And the white probably won't show up well because I'm so pale. So there's what they look like there. Honestly, really pretty. And I'm actually really excited to play around with it now because I did the try on video in the um, PR video. I probably won't do an Ipsy try on this month unless you guys are going to be really sad that I'm not going to do that. Um, but I just don't have time to do a million different try ons. I'll still do the BoxyCharm one, but let me know down below if you're going to be upset if I skip the Ipsy try on and then maybe I can do that. I just wouldn't use any of the products in my PR box. Now, some of the shades are clearly more pigmented than the others, like that shimmery shade that isn't showing up a lot. But again, um, fingers versus brushes is a totally different experience when it comes to swatching. But I think this is a different kind of palette and I'm super excited to get a cool tone palette because it doesn't happen that often. The next thing that they chose for me is by Tarte and this is the Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder in Translucent um, and this retails for $34. So let's pull it out. I don't think I've tried this setting powder before. No, I haven't, but I'm really excited to get this. I love powder because um, with my oily skin, oh, it's almost, oh my gosh, it was like almost completely untwisted. Oh, whew. glad that didn't happen. Now this does say translucent. That, and on camera it looks a little bit lighter than it does in person, but there is definitely pigment there. Now pigment doesn't mean that it won't be translucent, but I'm used to translucent powders being a little bit more on the white side. When you open it up, there is a mirror and then a poof, which I'll probably never use. And then there's a little tab there. I don't want to open it yet because I am I do have a bunch of powders open right now, but that is pretty cool. I'm excited to use this for sure. It does say sample, not for sale on the back, so that's a little bit interesting. Um, I'm pretty sure this is full size. It says sample, not for sale here too. So I don't know if there's anything different about this product, but I'm excited to get the powder because I tend to double powder with my oily skin. All right, so now we get into the three products that I chose. Again, I will show them on the screen, but I'm not gonna talk through the products because I don't really remember. There's more choices than like in a boxy charm when you get to choose. So the first one is from Misha Beauty. And this here is gonna be a nail duo in Top Coat and Unbothered, which retails for $37. Now I've gotten lazy and kind of stopped painting my nails for a while I was just getting like a gel manicure but ever since um, 
you know, the pandemic and everything, I've just, I'm not going and I'm not spending the money on that. And then I started painting my nails and then like, it's just, I hate having to repaint and take them off. But this color is really pretty. So there's two little bottles. They're so cute. So one of them is kind of in a really neutral pink kind of color on the cool tone side. And then you also have a top coat. Well, first of all, the packaging, like if you just put this out on like a dresser or vanity or something, it's gonna be really cute. But also I thought that that would be a nice natural look to my nails. Now again, I don't know, I haven't decided um, if I am going to paint my nails or start painting them again. But if I do, I think these will be really pretty, which is why I chose them. And I didn't really like any of the other options in the category from what I remember. So I figured I'll use these for my nails. Part of the reason why I stopped painting my nails is because my new hamster is a little bit nippy. He wants my fingers to be food, and so I wouldn't want for him to bite my nail with nail polish, and I don't know if this is a chippy kind of nail polish. I would not want him to ingest that if he nips at my fingers because he wants it to be food. So that's part of why I've stopped wearing it. So I don't know if I'll do it now, but I chose it because it is pretty, and worst case scenario, I'll give it to my sister, I'll put it in a giveaway or something like that if I feel like I'm not gonna use it. But also I would never spend $37 on nail polish, quite frankly, for two. Like that's pretty pricey, that's almost like, it's not $20 a bottle, but it's almost there. And I, the Sally Hansen gel nail polish is like eight or nine a bottle, and that's like expensive, but that lasts really well, so that's what I would go for. At least I think, is it Sally Hansen? I can't remember, but they sell it at Target. Whatever one that is, I really like that. I don't think it is Sally Hansen. But they're the gel bottles that there's tons of colors of at Target. I really like that nail polish, and that's like half the price, so this better perform for that price. So the next thing that I chose is from Dr. Lip, and these are the Lip Tint 3-Pack in Sweet Potato, Red Radish, and Elderberry. These retail for $28. Um, I'm really into lip tints. I've gotten tons of lip tints. If you looked at my quarterly favorites, oh, there was a ton of like lip tinty type of products. So I thought that this was cute that it came with three little products here. I like the names and everything. Um, I don't wanna swatch them on my hand, do I though? Mm, I'll swatch the darkest one. Doesn't really have a scent to it, but if you see there, it just gives like a light tint. Um, so I love these type of things for when I'm working to make myself look a little bit more alive. Um, these are not good to put on before you're going out because if you put a mask, you're just going to get that tint all over the mask. But if you need to be on a video call or whatever, I think that these are really great and I just like little lip tints. And last but not least, I chose the Araceli Ojos Perfectos Gel Pencil Eyeliner Duo in Cosmetica Sharpener in Chocolate and cinnamon. I think I read that wrong, but there's a sharpener and then two pencils that are like in both kind of brown shades. Now, I think I already own liners. Like I may already own one of these. You know what? Maybe I don't. Maybe I own the liquid version. So it is very possible that I may already own one of these. However, my mom has asked for more, like she's wanting more liner. So I figured I'd get this, but honestly, the main reason why I got it was for the sharpener. So let me first go ahead and swatch both of these. They are just like regular gel liners, not felt. So this is more a liner that I would use on my underwater line rather than on the top. They are very close to the same shade except for this one right here, the one the smaller line is more shimmery. I mean, it's a little bit lighter. I think they're really pretty and actually they would go with that really well. Um, but they're a little bit more natural. I And if, again, if I don't use them, I may give one or both to my mom. Oh, they're made in Germany, awesome. <laughs> um, so I thought, I really do like Araceli's liners. I've liked a lot of things from Araceli, but again, the main reason why I wasn't super excited about a lot of the choices, way better than last month, I will say that. I think the choices were definitely better than that, this last month, but it didn't blow me away. However, I really went for the sharpener because I thought I had a sharpener and I can't find it. And I know you can use a regular pencil sharpener, but like this one has little buckets that you can like, so it doesn't get messy. So I decided I would just go with this because I wanted the sharpener and I knew that these liners were good. So that's everything that I got in my Ipsy Plus. Now I am gonna do my rating for this one out of five. I didn't do it for my PR ones just because they weren't tailored to me. They were just like sent to me. I think everybody in PR gets the same or very similar products, but they're not based on profile. So a rating of how I felt about it, I don't think would be very accurate, right? Because it's a more general thing. But this was geared towards me, so I'm gonna give it a rating out of five for myself. I give it a point if I like it I'm, and I'm gonna use it. Zero points if it's not for me, I'm not gonna use it. And then a half a point if I have to test it out a little bit before I know if I'm gonna like it. So I'm gonna give the palette a point, the powder a point, the liners a point, 
and the lips a point. And then I'm gonna do a half a point for the nail polish because I really wanna test the formula out and see how it's gonna perform. If it performs, this could bump up the score to a five. But right now, I think this Ipsy was a four and a half out of five. It is a really good Ipsy. It's not like exciting, exciting, but it's definitely better than last month. And I think it is a good box. I feel like I got my $25 worth out of it. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of my choices and variations? Did you get different choices? That's one thing I've been confused about because I've heard that people do get different choices depending on their profile. So did you get the exact same choices that I put up on the screen or were yours different? Definitely let me know down in the comments below. Definitely let me know what you got in your bag and I will see you in my next video.